Well, England's National Health Service says it's on a war footing as the surge in cases leads to increased hospitalisation. The NHS is preparing new surge hubs like this one outside a London hospital to deal with a potential overflow of patients. One study puts the UK on track to soon surpass 200,000 new cases a day. Salma Abdelaziz joins us now from London. And Salma, another day, another record. And we are hearing from England's medical director, who has described the health system as now being on a war footing. Just how bad is it? Well, these NHS chiefs say they simply can't wait to find out how many people are going to wind up in hospital with Omicron. There is just too many unknowns, too many questions. Yes, it does appear to be a milder strain, but still these numbers are just so big that even if it's a smaller ratio of people that will wind up in hospital, that number could still be enough to overwhelm the healthcare system. That's why health officials here say they must act now. They've been spending the Christmas period putting plans in place, Linda, to prepare for a potential wave of Omicron patients. So what are these plans? Well, they're going to be developing surge hubs. I know we have pictures of those to show you. These are going to be temporary stations set out outside eight different hospitals in England, each of these stations should be able to accommodate up to 100 additional COVID patients. There's also plans in place for surge beds, up to 4,000 more beds for COVID patients. I mean, if you're looking at these figures, and of course, if you're a health official, you are absolutely worried and concerned about how this is going to translate in a few days or a few weeks time when people do become severely ill. And England has already seen an increase in hospitalizations, an increase of about 65% over the course of a week. That's according to the latest figures on Monday. It means that there's more than 10,000 people now in hospitals across England with COVID-19. It's the highest number of patients with COVID that this country has seen since March. That was during a very deadly surge. And then as we're looking ahead to New Year's Eve, Linda, London is one of the few cities where there are no real big restrictions around New Year's Eve celebrations. Everyone's been told to be cautious. Everyone's been told Told to be vigilant but again there's no social restrictions so for these health officials they're looking at tomorrow and they're wondering is it going to get worse Linda if people gather if there are these social gatherings and people are in contact with each other is this surge only gonna grow because that peak we're nowhere near the end of it Linda no far from over unfortunately Summer Abdelaziz thanks very much for joining us from London well, still to come tonight, Elaine Maxwell's lawyers plan to appeal her conviction for sex trafficking. The executive producer of Chasing Ghislaine joins me next to discuss.